Hello, my name is Dr. Ashok Agrawal, and here are my associates, Dr. Neil Parekh and Dr. Manesh Kumar. We are all working in the Department of Urology at Cleveland Clinic, where we conducted a recent study on male oxidative stress infertility or MOSI. And we published this uh, very first study in the World Journal of Men's Health. The title of our study is on male oxidative stress infertility, proposed terminology, and clinical practice guideline for the management of idiopathic male infertility. This study was conducted at the American Center for Reproductive Medicine at Cleveland Clinic, and the study includes 91 authors who joined us from 26 countries and six continents. My colleague, Dr. Neil Parekh, who's a trained urologist and a specialist in male infertility, is now going to describe about this study and what we have done here. As we know, natural conception is a complex process. Only 76 to 85% of couples conceive within 12 months of regular timed intercourse. The World Health Organization estimates that roughly 190 million people struggle with infertility worldwide. Unfortunately, male factor is partially or wholly responsible uh, for approximately 50% of cases of infertility. We know there are several causes of male infertility. infertility. These include hormonal, genetic, lifestyle causes such as obesity and smoking, systemic diseases, and varicoceles. However, the ideology of male factor infertility remains undefined in up to 50% of patients. These patients are subsequently classified as having idiopathic male infertility which is defined as the presence of altered semen characteristics without an identifiable cause and the absence of female factor infertility. Idiopathic male infertility is a broad term with limited treatment options. The, the diagnosis of idiopathic male infertility can be an emotional uh, roller coaster for many couples and can be a financial strain as well. However, this leads us to discuss more about the concept of male oxidative stress infertility, or MOSI. We know that oxidative stress plays a significant role in the etiology of male infertility. Specifically, small quantities of seminal reactive, reactive oxygen species, or ROS, are required for a number of sperm functions, including spermatogenesis and uh, for fertilization, uh, such as capacitation and acrosome reaction. However, 30 to 80 percent of infertile men have been shown to have elevated levels of ROS, which has been also been shown to be a potentially treatable condition. We believe, and we strongly believe, that male reproductive potential cannot be adequately assessed if seminal oxidative stress is overlooked. Currently, there are no consensus guidelines on how to accurately or predictably measure OS or any diagnostic terminology to define this population of patients with elevated oxidative stress. Therefore, we have proposed the term male oxidative stress infertility, or MOSI, to characterize this group of patients. As you can see here, with roughly 50% of men contributing to infertility, which equates to about 93 million men, we can see that idiopathic causes incorporates about 50% of them, or 46.5 million men. In, the, in, those, in that population, oxidative stress has been shown to be elevated in roughly 80% of these men, which is approximately 37.2 million men with elevated oxidative stress, or what we determine as MOSI. So how do we diagnose MOSI? We look at oxidation reduction potential, or ORP, to be a cl clinically useful biomarker for the classification of MOSI. It takes into account the levels of both oxidants and reductants, or antioxidants, in the semen. It's, we believe it could be a very powerful adjunct test to conventional semen analysis. 
The male infertility oxidative system, or myoxis, has been shown to be an easily usable and reproducible and cost-effective way of measuring ORP. Given the limited clinical utility of conventional semen analysis and the pathological consequences and ubiquity of OS among the subfertile population, we propose the incorporation of ORP um, into the diagnosis of MOSI. ORP levels have been shown to be significantly negatively correlated with sperm concentration, sperm motility, morphology, and total motile count. ORP levels have also been shown to be significantly positively correlated with sperm DNA fragmentation. Several studies have led us to utilize the cutoff value of 1.34 as a marker uh, for abnormality when running ORP with the myoxis system. So after you have the diagnosis of MOSI, uh, we look to see how we can better manage and treat many of these men with MOSI. Because there are no evidence-based treatment guidelines available for idiopathic male infertility, uh, we believe that this is an area that there needs to be continued research and development in. Currently, empiric medical therapy, such as using selective estrogen receptor modulators, aromatase inhibitors, or gonadotropins are commonly utilized. However, there's a lack of robust placebo-controlled trials that demonstrate improved live birth outcomes with regards to their use off-label. Similarly, we see an overabundance at times of the use of antioxidants in this population. And we must be wary of the risks of overuse of antioxidants, uh, which may lead to a, a condition called reductive stress. Reductive stress uh, can be as harmful or more harmful than high levels of oxidative stress in the semen. So by diagnosing men appropriately with MOSI using ORP, as well as monitoring, which may provide a more target, targeted, reliable approach for using antioxidants, we feel that this is a, a great start in the, the management of this population. Further clinical trials are indicated to directly compare live birth rates among men with MOSI assigned to receive antioxidants versus other treatment options, including empiric medical therapy or ART. And we need to continue uh, to develop treatment guidelines in this field. We have proposed our own guidelines uh, specifically for men with MOSI using a cutoff value of 1.34 as our ORP level for abnormal, these men are then defined as having oxidative stress. We know a number of different conditions can cause oxidative stress, including infection and inflammation, smoking, obesity, and varicoceles. However, after an appropriate history and physical exam, if those other conditions can be ruled out, uh, we should then determine whether those patients actually have MOSI. If they are deemed to have MOSI, we believe these are the patients that should be offered anti antioxidant supplementation, as we believe these are the ones that will be most uh, appropriately um, affected by them. Once started with antioxidants, we recommend starting antioxidants for three months and then retesting the semen analysis uh, for MOSI utilizing uh, ORP. So in conclusion, the key takeaways of our manuscript include the fact that male reproductive potential cannot be adequately assessed if oxidative stress is overlooked. And we believe defining a, a, this subgroup of infertile men with MOSI, who are infertile men with abnormal semen characteristics and oxidative stress, uh, is an important step in this direction. ORP has been shown to be an efficient, inexpensive, and highly sensitive and specific test, uh, especially when using the myoxis system. And we believe guidelines are necessary to avoid possible overuse of antioxidants. Thank you.